In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four puzzle infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the four puzzles and for each one I've added the icon and when I click, it will show you the title and the detailed text for option one. Then it comes for the option two, option three and option four. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light grey color background then go to the view, enable the guides go to the insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle rounded corner click it here go to the shape format and height and width i'm going to make it as five inches and align center align middle then you can see the small orange point just drag this outside so it becomes less curved at the edges all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any gray color and later on we can change the color the next thing which i would like to do is i will cut this into four equal parts to do that one i'm going to add one rectangle so go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose this rectangle create a rectangle which should be bigger than or taller than the gray one shape outline make it no outline and you can see here the height is 7 and the width is 0 0.14 i'm going to make it as 0 0.03 all right and align center align middle i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and go to the rotate rotate right 90 degrees and this also align center align middle all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape first the gray rectangle Hold the shift key, select the, vert, uh, the vertical and then by holding the shift key, you have to select the horizontal as well. Once this is done, go to the merge shapes and select the fragment. All right. Just click it outside. Now with the help of the mouse, I'm going to highlight this area and press the delete key and same thing we'll do for the horizontal and press the delete key so you can see here i end up getting four equal shapes all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to give some different colors to it okay first of all let me just go to the shape format shape fill i'm going to give this a turquoise color this one i'm going to give a kind of a lime or green color here i'm going to give some dark teal and one more shade of teal i can just select this one so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this all right the next thing which i would like to do is kind of a puzzle where it is interconnected with each with each other for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape just click it the oval shape here shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can use some bright colors all right so that it is more clearly visible now I'm going to put it here and make sure that here the one part is more at the bottom and the top part is very less here. So that's how you have to arrange or it's up to you whatever way you can arrange it. Okay, then hold the control shift key. I'm going to bring it here. All right, then I'm going to press control D. I'm going to add one more here. We can see here and hold the control shift key i'm going to bring it here the only thing is i'm going to move this side here all right so here also you can just make it something like this all right okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and keep it aside here for my later use so now i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key and i'm going to select this one merge shapes make it a union so you can see here i have got this shape all right now i'm going to select this one and select this merge shapes click on union it becomes like this select this one and this one merge shapes again union and this one and this one merge shapes union 
Now the problem here is, for example, if I send this back, this is visible. When I send this back, this is visible, but this is not. I cannot send it because the moment I send this back, even this will not be visible. Okay, this particular the the shape here. Okay, for that, let me just select this one, and I'm going to paste it here. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one, hold the shift key, select this merge shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks like this you can see here only for this the others are okay so let me just send this back and all are visible you can see here so for this all this one i'm going to give a white outline and you can give the weight also you can increase the weight also we end up getting a shape something like this now i'm going to select this shape all the shape by pressing ctrl a Control A or you can use the help of a mouse also select all the shapes press Control G to group it and then I'm going to rotate this shape by using the alt and the right arrow key so hold the alt key and one two three times I'm going to uh, press the right arrow key all right so I end up getting a shape which looks like this now right mouse click group ungroup all right so now the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to add four icons here so go to the insert icons i'm going to choose some random icons for this tutorial but when you are choosing make sure that you use the right icons for your presentation so some random icons i'm choosing here one you can see here two three and four and click insert and the color i'm going to make this as white and I'm just going to select one here each one and place it here so we end up getting a shape which looks like this so now I'm going to select this one and this one press ctrl G to group it this and this press ctrl G to group this one and this one ctrl G to group this one and this press ctrl G to group and this one let me just send this to back I'll send this to back as well sorry I have to bring this to front all right and this also bring to front all right you can see here it looks something like this and you can see here it's all group perfectly all right now once this is done you can add some shadow effect all right or you can add some detailed text to add the detailed text first of all i'm going to go to the insert text box i'm going to say this is title 01 for example i'm going to make it bold you can just choose any font size and the font name itself and then go to insert text box i'll say add detail text here center align reduce the font size and i'm going to put it here you can see here like this again for this you can add some shapes also some lines so using this freeform shape i can make one line here you can see here something like this click it here hold the shift key make straight line and double click all right so i end up getting a shape and i can increase the weight also for this again whichever color for example you like to give gray color you can give gray color also so all right so now i'm just going to copy this one press ctrl d and i'm going to make this one here for example all right so you can see here actually this text has to be here okay so anyway it's not a problem wherever we want we can just keep it and here again i'm going to select all these three press ctrl d to duplicate it comes here the only thing is i'm going to rotate this one you can see here flip horizontal or flip vertical and then i'm going to bring this down and this also down so like this you can just add a different text different options you can see here again this also i can just rotate it all right 
so this one let me just move to the other side here and this also I can just rotate again all right so this is option one this is option two this is option three and this is option four and you can just do some basic animations for example I'm going to select all this all right go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation I'm going to select fly in fly in all should be in from different direction this should come from top this should come from right this should come from bottom that is okay and this should come from right sorry from left all right and all should happen all this all second third fourth should happen after previous so if i play you can see here it comes something like this and the same thing you can just give the animation to the titles as well